Well, Tap Fly is another new feature that is really very exciting. What it will allow us to do is, let's suppose you have a a destination that you want your phantom to go to. And so you can see it on, on your screen, you go ahead and tap on it, and then you're going to send it to that destination. With the object avoidance, it's, um, the quadcopter is, is going to be able to fly between trees or between objects, go over objects, in order to uh, reach that destination. And that's really very exciting. It's similar to waypoints in that uh, waypoints is a mission and so uh, you set up the mission and then you send it out and um, it allows you to go there and once it reaches its destination it'll just hover and wait for your next command. So I'm sure that they'll be keeping waypoints because it's it's more advanced there's more things you can do such as in waypoints you would have the ability to go from one place to another place and then to another place whereas with TapFly, you're just going to the one place. Um, secondly, with waypoints, you have the ability to not only go to each of these different destinations, but then you can turn the phantom in the direction that you want to do your filming. Whereas with TapFly, you'll have the quadcopter faced in the direction that you're going as far as your destination, as far as your mission is concerned. So, I see that this to be a very positive, very, um, very strong new feature that will make it much, again, much easier to, to work with. I would imagine, imagine you're up on a mountain and you want the, the phantom to go to the next mountain uh, or a ridge or a particular tree and you're just sending it out in that direction. I really feel that these new features are very powerful that tap fly giving you the option to, to go to that particular destination with active track where you can track a particular person and be able to stay with that person and even kind of fly around that person a bit. And then the object avoidance where we're able to do all of these things and, and at the same time, as long as, the, as long as the phantom is faced in the correct direction, it'll avoid any particular objects. This is not foolproof. This is not going to uh, prevent all accidents, but it really should enable us to be much more advanced in our videography work, to be able to provide really good quality pictures and video, especially video. So I'm very excited about it. I think that this is going to be a very interesting year.